this one's disappearing. It's it's moving away because this is the childish version of herself, naive, kind of innocent to the world. And the blue one is more mature. She's um, seen the reality of what the world is like. And in an attempt to hold on to her childish ways, her innocence, she's kind of grab grabbing onto her and hoping that she would stay. But as we all grow up, some of the parts of ourselves does go away, so it's inevitable. Chelsea Ramatar. I'm a graduate of the University of Ghana. Uh, these are all of my pieces and usually I'm inspired by human experience such as growing up, introspection, transformation, things like that. So if you can look over here, this piece is called Loss and I wanted to illustrate the idea of growing up and losing that childish um, side of ourselves. So this is one girl and she's two versions of herself and this one's disappearing, it's, it's moving away because this is the childish version of herself, naive, kind of innocent to the world and the blue one is more mature, she's um, seen the reality of what the world is like and in an attempt to hold on to her childish ways, her innocence, she's kind of grab grabbing onto her and hoping that she would stay. But as we all grow up, some of the parts of ourselves does go away, so it's inevitable. Yeah. And this piece, as well as this one over here, is a part of a series called Catharsis. And Catharsis is the purging of emotions. So I wanted to show that in a literal sense, purging in a literal sense. So I tried to put the girls in um, something that's purging from them. And the colors of the background is the emotion that they're possibly feeling. And you can see that she's trying to get rid of it through the tears. And this girl specifically is just sitting in the emotions and just feeling it rather than um, letting it take over her. Whereas this girl is showing kind of confusion. She's as though she had bottled up this emotion so much and now that it's pouring out, she's kind of confused as to why she's feeling that way. Yeah, and the final two pieces are also another series called Bloomin. And this is to illustrate growth. So I try to use flowers and plants because plants are the things that we've noticed that grows that well. So I try to use plants to show growth in ourselves. And I use really pastel colors to try to make the mood not as sad looking, but the, the gestures of the girls show a different story to the colors itself. Yeah. And what has the experience been like with um, persons relating to your work? Um, there's been a lot of good responses. A lot of people really like this piece and want to know the story behind it. Also, the, a lot of people have complimented the colors that were used. Um, they like the simplicity of the pieces as well as the, uh, the colors that were used. So were some of the artists that would have influenced you as they looked at it really took um, bits and pieces from to create this uh, unique artist's work in the Well, I look a, a lot at photography. I like the, the people who use gestures, body gestures to portray emotion compared to like facial expressions and stuff. So that's why you can see a lot of body gestures in my work. Um, yeah. I try to use bold colors a lot. Um, it's not. This was a part of a series as well, and I use a lot of um, Van Gogh's colors because he uses a lot of blues and oranges. So I try to use that to complement the colors because he would use the colors to actually show mood. 
So that's what I try to do in this one specifically. And what's the, what's the, what's the, the, the main reason behind the pastel palette? It's much of what you have there with the exception of this one. Right. Is, you can see this striking nature from a contrast. Much of the right. others are pastel, more subtle, more somber. Why, why pastel palettes? Um, I think it has a lot to do with me specifically as an artist. Um, these ones, this one and this one were done close to each other inter last year. So I feel like I was in that space of wanting to do harsh, bright, contrasting colors, um, dark colors against light colors. But now I feel more drawn towards the pastels and light colors. So I feel like it's more me than the message itself. And is there a specific reason for the sizes of the canvases that work? Um, As you, you, you have a happy type of large, right, comparatively I, speaking. Yes, um, I feel like I can't portray what I want to portray on a smaller canvas. It wouldn't have the same effect. I feel like when something is big, it's kind of overwhelming to some people. And I kind of wanted that. I wanted people to feel a bit like when they see it, they're like, whoa, look at that as compared to if it's small and they have to like walk up and like peep at it to understand. So that's kind of why I choose the big canvases. And final question, where do you go from here? Um, I'm hoping that we get more exhibitions like this. I think this is a really good um, type of exhibition. It's not just, oh, this art, we're actually doing something for a good cause. So I really hope we get more exhibitions like this and I love to participate in them. Thank you very much, Chelsea. Thank you.